Imagine back then when they just didn't know where they were and they thought they were in India. <laughs> you know? It's sort of how it's a oh, okay. moving gif. I can't control it, but it's showing how it works. Mm. You read the angle. I'm not going to figure this out I right know, now. Just, yeah, we're too dumb for this. <laughs> we're too goofy. dumb. But it's amazing that they use those to travel all around the world. Like, they trusted those things and the, the way you yeah, would figure you off, it out through dead. that. Yeah, not good. And you're dead. you might have scurvy anyway. Yeah. What are you eating? Beef jerky every hit, day? Yeah. <laughs> you, hit the, you hit no wind. You're just on flat sea. They're all sick. They would get sick. Yeah, there's mutinies constantly. Yeah. You'd be like, this guy's going to oh, yeah. fucking get us killed. Mm hmm. And the storms were completely unpredictable. You had no idea when a storm was coming. Zero that idea. That Cabeza de Vaca story. I, I kind of forget it, but. It's amazing. So they, they, I think they were in Cuba, Hispaniola. And they left, and they tried to. They landed in like Tampa, mm -hmm. and they were like, half of the party go get on a sailboat or meet us at the harbor. There's a harbor up this coastline, and they're like, all right, we'll just half the party's gonna walk, half the party's gonna take the boat, and uh, there was no harbor. And then they just got. They had to walk from Tampa to Mexico City. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them made it. <laughs> they all got killed. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty fun. They had to survive waves like this back then, too. Yes, yep. right? Yep, 100%. But what they the could fuck? not. But they didn't. They went under. I mean, that's why those boats sank. There's so many of those pirate ships. And how about the Roman ships they find that sank with, like, a fucking billion dollars yeah. of the gold yeah. in them? Spanish. Spanish oh my coming God. back. Spanish coming back from the New World. Just... There's probably a bunch of those yeah. out there. Those yeah. guys that find, like, hidden treasure or, or sunken treasure, cool. that's a wild thing, man. Can you imagine if you're a guy who's invested all this money, you got all this stress, you got a, a team of divers. It's basically like a CBS yeah. drama show. you got a team of divers, and they finally find it. And now you got to protect it from pirates. They got to kill those guys that were on the dive mm. with you. Oh, I bet yeah, that happens. We just found a, lot. a trillion dollars. I bet that happens a lot, right? I bet guys kill each other. Probably. Over, yeah. There's a story I know. I think I told you about it one time before. This guy, he's known as he's he did exactly what you're talking about. He found the gold. He got an investment. His name's Tommy Thompson. I think there's a documentary <laughs> about him. He from Britain. Then he's lost English? lost the gold. In quotes, lost it. Didn't know Damn. where he put it. He's Look been at in jail. That pirate dude held under contempt because he owes the people who invested in him the money. And he's just like, I don't know where it is. I can't remember where I put it. And so the judge is just holding him. How long can he hold him? He's been in jail for like twenty years, I think. Really? Yeah. For four million? It's <laughs> at least four million, I think, is the problem. Like he might have found a lot, and they're not. He just didn't tell everybody he found. He, and I so think, he's been in jail for how long? <sighs> Let me see if I can. Yeah, let's find out. I believe it's he, a long. It's more than ten years. I think it's been going on for a while. Well, he looks so much older than he did when he got arrested. It's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, see, it started back in like the nineties. Oh my god! He discovered it in like eighty nine, and then went back. Um, people have been talking about it for a while, but I think he's, as far as I know, still being held. What a fucking idiot! Well, well, not only that, where's the gold, and how does he know it's going to yeah, be there when he gets out? Some, You've been in jail for 20 years. Could stupid. be some other treasure hunters. Yeah. They think his or his kids may have known about it, but they're like, we don't we don't know where it is either. The story went on forever. The, it's I, pretty neat. It's from, I think he's from Columbus, Ohio. That's kind of why I know about it. Um, and I think someone I know knows knew some, him or knows the family or something. Columbus, Ohio treasure hunters? Yeah, I don't, that's the, I don't, he's just from there. Hmm. Well. 